I am Laura Garcia Herrero. I work at the European Commission in the Joint Research Center in Ispra in Italy. I mainly take care of uh, evaluating food waste prevention actions and also support decision makers. And I am strongly focused on consumer food waste understanding and the evaluation of the environmental impacts of uh, our consumption. I've been invited uh, to help students to understand better which interventions are working and why and to do that what we need is to evaluate the intervention because otherwise we don't have the information so I explain the evaluation framework that the Commission has developed and also how to use it, which are the weaknesses and we, where we need to invest and as well as some tools, some recommendations that can be used to help uh, reducing food waste uh, along the food supply chain. In the field of food waste, there are several organizations and uh, that are organisms that they are trying to address food waste, but often they do it with uh, a lot of uh, motivation, but they don't follow the procedure, meaning that they don't design properly the intervention or at least they don't record that information. So the first thing in order to get some effects, you need to evaluate which is the precondition, so before your intervention was done and then the after one. What we are always recommended it is to set nice KPIs in the sense that they have to be smart, also good uh, objective, uh, whenever it's possible, impact objective, meaning the real effect of your intervention, how many, how, how many kilograms of food waste has been prevented, how much or outreach uh, indicator um, objectives such as how much a consumer has changed uh, their perception of food waste and is willing to reduce it. So what we need here is to evaluate the intervention, first of all, to understand if it works or it doesn't. And to do that, you need to evaluate uh, six criteria that they were presented during this course.